गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी व्यूअर्स टूडे दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ एंड टूडे वी आर स्टार्ट वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर मिनरल्स एंड एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज ड्यूरिंग प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैड ऑलरेडी कॉम्प्लीटेड द एग्रीकल्चर एंड द टर्म द चैप्टर रिसोर्सेज in this chapter in this video we will concern over the minerals and energy resources minerals and energy resources are backbone of industrial development of any country in any country if we want to uh, want to um, industrial development then we will uh, we will concern over the uh, mineral resources so it is the backbone of uh, industrial development no no industry can be run without these two energy and minerals means no any industry can be run means no any industry uh, like industries are depend on minerals for their raw materials and while um industries are in industries where a lot of machinery items are found and these machinery items can't be run without power and in energy power is uh, electricity power is uh, petroleum petroleum products and energy resources also uh, also obtained from a uh, coal means coal petroleum and uh, hydroelectricity all of these are the uh, example of energy resources so without minerals and energy resources no in the any industries can be run in a country so minerals and metals are <coughs> so common in our life means in any life in ancient life or in modern life we uh, can't avoid the mineral resources in in life in uh, uh, in this life we utilize the um, different utensils and utensils are made up of the minerals and metals and we use the nails and they are also made from the mineral so uh, minerals are indispensable parts of our life and we can't uh, throw uh, from the these minerals in our life so it is very very important and do you know that we are <coughs> we use different things in our life like we use uh, pen uh, plastics are also minerals we utilize the uh different color and color is also made from the uh, minerals we use windows uh, we use many other substances that are in our life and these are made up of different metals and minerals even our earth crust is made up of different minerals and these minerals are found in different and these minerals are embedded in different rocks and <coughs> huge uh, and these minerals are used a uh, proper uh, refinement uh, after this refinement if we refine these uh, mineral resources after that it the uh, resources are easily uh, easily usable by the human society actually uh, minerals are the indispensable parts of our life uh, we can't uh, uh, throw uh, throw and the minerals in our life so it is the indispensable parts of our life and if we want uh, in um, a means in our daily life we require a, a small pin and this pin are made up by minerals we utilize the building we uh, we construct the buildings these buildings are also made up by different minerals even big ships that are also made by the minerals means all of these are can't be made without mineral so minerals are the indispensable part of our life in our daily life we have uh, goes one places to another uh, by the railway so railway track are also made by the uh, made by the minerals 
and tarmac paving of the road of the road these are also made by the minerals machinery are made up made by the mineral made by the iron and copper iron and copper are the minerals car as uh, the body of car is also made by the aluminium and plastics so buses are also made trains aeroplanes all of these are manufactured from minerals and the all of these are run on power also means power means these are run by the fuel um, like petroleum diesel kerosene and other other fuels and these fuels are the minerals and it, min, these energy minerals are categorized as the energy resources do you know that we we <coughs> eat something and do you know that uh, if we eat something that food stuffs also contain a lot of minerals hey okay? like uh, uh, <coughs> phosphorus these are the minerals phosphorus are very very necessary and calcium phosphorus uh, calcium magnesium potassium all of these are the minerals and these are contained in our food stuffs also so we can't avoid the minerals in all stages of development from ancient period uh, and many um, in that period uh, <coughs> so all stages of development means from ancient period to recent period human beings have used minerals for their livelihood means in ancient period where people are used and uh, the uh, different agricultural um, weapons uh, agricultural stuffs uh, and uh, agricultural are uh, um, tools uh, and these are made by the minerals during that ancient period also in recent period where uh, people are also used the minerals for their livelihood like decoration festivities ceremonial rites so these are the uh, these are the activities of the recent life and these are also the uh, these are also the uh, um, uh, matters of um, uh, recent life minerals are naturally occurring as uh, homogeneous uh, substances element means minerals are found in nature also so it is it is uh, it is it's occurring the naturally and it is homo uh, homogeneous elements with uh, the physical and chemical properties means it is have physical and chemical properties which make them uh, different from or uh, which make them which converted them different each uh, different to each other so i uh, it it may be soft as the talcum powder and it may be hardest on the earth also uh, like diamond means diamond is also the uh, mineral while the talcum powder which also the made by the mineral so uh, this is very very important rocks are an aggregate aggregate complex combination and uh, now it is a definition of resources so uh, i mean the uh, definition of resources means <coughs> so minerals are the naturally occurring uh, occurring substances it is the uh, definition of the which elements with the physical and chemical properties which have a uh, physical and chemical properties and which make them different from each other so it it uh, it may be soft as talcum powder and it may be hardest uh, on the earth uh, as diamond all of these are the example of minerals so these are the uh, this is the uh, definition and example of minerals next minerals are found in the rocks so uh, rocks are an aggregated aggregate complex combination of homogeneous minerals a uh, particular means in uh, in rock which are combination of different minerals per particle so that uh, so that forms the uh, forms the <coughs> part of uh, earth crust means in the uh, on the earth crust on the earth surface where uh, and in the interior of the earth where a lot of minerals are found so minerals are the part of rock also 
and it may be cons uh, consolidated in uh, it may be consolidated form uh, like the granite and it may be unconsolidated form like lime and sand dune these are the unconsolidated so their geological structure and character classify and um, and um, made different from the uh, each other so uh, these rock uh, the rock which are found here and these rocks are uh, classified uh, on the basis of the uh, mineral content and uh, there are three kinds of rocks are found on the earth surface igneous rock sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock so these uh, these rocks are the main these rocks are the uh, example of the uh, these rocks are the uh, are the maybe can to say that the uh, house of the mineral also. Okay? Thank you very much.